He created all that is The earth, the skies, the seas The beauty of creation The mountains and the trees He spoke and there was light He breathed and gave new life No, it's not a story No, it's not a lie He is God, He is King He created everything He is life, He is peace He is strength to all who need He is love, He is grace And His mercy took my place He is gone He's given all to me I owe it all to Him He knew me from the beginning He's the payment for my sin His word brings me light His spirit brings me life He is my maker, there's no doubt He is alive He is God, He is King He created everything He is life He is peace, He is strength to all who need. He is love, He is grace, and His mercy took my place. He is God, and every moment I will seek to praise Him for the beauty of His mighty wondrous hand. And every breath that I take, I will use to praise His name. I will lift my voice and I will say, He is God, He is King, He created everything. He is life, He is peace, He is strength to all who need. He is love, He is grace. And His mercy took my place He is God He is God He is God Pastor had asked uh, earlier that I give my testimony, so uh, I guess I'll start from the beginning. Uh, obviously, grew up in a Christian home, blessed by God to to be able to do that. Um, when I was around four or five years old, uh, I was in the truck with my dad on the way to church, and I just remember hearing a Christian song or something or a Bible story, and I just thought, like, oh, I want to get saved. So. Me and my dad prayed, and I was like, yeah, I'm saved. So all of my younger years, I just grew up thinking, oh, yeah, when I was when I was five, you know, I got saved. I just prayed, and yeah, so I'm good to go. But when I went to summer camp in North Carolina, uh, a camp called the Wilds, a Christian summer camp, uh, it was my first year there, so I would have been almost 10 years old, I think nine years old. So all all week long, you know, I was just having a good time, enjoying everything, but One of the last nights, the speaker was just giving the gospel message, and he was really just laying it down and preaching how salvation is not just some prayer or something that just happens. You know, it's a personal, like it's a real decision that you have to personally make. And I just remember thinking, like, man, I don't really know if I really did that. So I started thinking, you know, I don't think I really made that decision truly. I think it was just kind of, I didn't really understand it at that time. I didn't fully understand what I was doing, but anyways, so the Lord was really, uh, it was really heavy on my heart, and I went to a back room with my counselor where there were some other people uh, that were getting the gospel message as well, and my counselor went over the gospel message with me again, and, but I was, I was ready, so at that moment, I prayed and I accepted Christ to be my Savior, and I wish I could say that from that point on, everything was smooth sailing, I've been growing ever since, and never had any doubts, but 
uh, when I was about 16 or 15 years old, I started coming to a period where I was really like struggling major with doubts. And I was, man, I don't know if I'm saved. Am I really, was it really real? Did I mean it? Have I like lost it even? Did I, have I done enough bad stuff or whatever? Because I was just backsliding and a lot of sin and I just wasn't close to the Lord at all. And the fellowship was broken and that just made me feel like I had no connection to God. And so I felt like, well, I can't be saved if I feel this, this bad. So I got assurance of my salvation at that time, but really and truly, I know that I was saved uh, that younger time when I was at camp. But since then, the Lord's worked in my life, and I've been able to travel with my family and do the ministry and been a lot of unique places, seen a lot of amazing things I never would have got to see had I not been part of the ministry. And I've got to serve a lot of people as well, and that's just really unique and I've also been able to go on two mission trips as well, one to New Zealand and the other to Honduras. Uh, both are really unique, awesome experiences. And on the first one to New Zealand, I got to lead two little boys to the Lord, their brothers, and that was just, that was the highlight of the trip. Even though everything I got to see, the sightseeing and all the other people that I got to witness to, but seeing those two little boys actually accept was just awesome. And uh, now I'm at college in uh, Pensacola Christian College. I'm studying accounting and I'm working there on campus this summer, and I'm just trying to grow where the Lord has me, and I don't know what the future holds, um, what opportunities, um, maybe even ministry after I graduate that the Lord may have for me, but I know he's got a plan, and for now it's just studying hard and getting my stuff done, so I'm going to keep doing that, and I'll see what he has in the future. So thank you. Thanks, Pastor.